Hello, and thanks for checking out Level. Today we wanted to discuss how to better implement automation for new workstation deployments. First off, we want to cover the Microsoft tool called Windows Configuration Designer. The Windows Configuration Designer allows you to create provisioning packages, and these provisioning packages can be put on a USB stick. Once the USB stick is installed, that will actually bypass the out-of-box experience. And that will also allow you to run some scripts. And we are going to go over how to run a script to install Level. So first, in order to download the Windows Configuration Designer, you can jump over to the Microsoft Store. And if you search for Windows Configuration Designer, you can go ahead and install that. Once it's installed, open the Configuration Designer. And in this case, we are going to provision a new desktop device. Workstation Automation. This starts a wizard that will begin the process of creating the provisioning package. There's a few things in here that are convenient that I'd recommend we do. Here in this case, we can change the device name. I don't know about your organization, but we often like to uh, create the device name that matches the serial number. In this case, we'll just pick company, we'll just say company name dash, and then they have a little guide up there, so we'll use serial. I'm going to skip any of these, and we're going to go next. Here we can choose to join a wireless network. Now, this is really important for Level because Level has an online installer. However, I found in my testing that this doesn't always work. And so we're actually going to disable this, and we're going to take care of joining a wireless network in our provisioning script. Move on. Here, it's uh, helpful to create a local user account. And so we'll just make, make an account called local admin, give it a password. And now here we can choose to add an application. And this is where you're going to select a PowerShell script that will help connect to the wireless and install level. So while we're here, let me just go ahead and pull this up so we can take a look at that. In this script, we need a couple of parameters. First, we need to get the name of your SSID that you want to connect to. In our case, we have an SSID that's set aside for new workstation deployments. It's on a separate VLAN, it's isolated, and it can only get out to the internet. And in this case, that's where we would put the SSID, and then we would put the password here. The script will then create a temp file, or a temp folder rather, if it doesn't exist already. It's going to enable some logging for this script that will be dropped into ctemp and then level install.txt. Next, we are going to create the wireless profile file. In the case of Windows 10 and 11, in order to import an SSID, you have to create a profile. We're just going to create that file here as a part of the script. And we can see here that it's going to insert the SSID and the password going to write it to the temp file to GUID SSID. Next, we will import that SSID by importing the profile. And we're going to delete that file because it contains the password in there. So we want to remove it. And this bypasses the cycle bin. Next, we're going to connect to the SSID. And then lastly, we are going to monitor connectivity. We have a timeout of two minutes on here. It's simply going to reach out and try to connect to downloads.level.io. And as soon as that is available, then it's going to run the installer command. So I'm going deeper in the rabbit hole, but let me pull up level. And I'm going to grab my installation script right here. So I just went up to install new agent. This is for Windows and I'm going to copy this command. And now we're going to paste it right there. And then at the end it's going to stop logging. All right. So let me save this.
Okay, once we've selected that, let's go ahead and give this a name. And we're going to make a few changes here because this, since this is PowerShell, turn on change the execution policy. And then we are going to find the file parameter. Okay, that should be everything we need. Good. We don't need any certificates in this case. And we are going to go ahead and finish. Okay, so now it's created our PPKG file. Let's just examine what this left behind here. So we have a file called workstationautomation.ppkg. This is the file that we want to copy over to the USB stick. You'll notice that there is no PS1 PowerShell script here. It gets encapsulated into this PPKG file. So let's go ahead. Insert a USB. And I'm simply going to copy this. Paste this. In this case, I already have a PPKG. I'm going to eliminate these so that there's only one. If there's only one, then it will automatically detect it once you insert the USB stick during the out-of-box experience. OK, so this is everything we need to do at this point. I'm going to go ahead and now we're going to pivot over to a workstation that is on the out-of-box experience. OK, here we go. We now have a, a device that I've just recently installed Windows 11 on. I plugged it into the KVM so that we can record its screen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that USB stick that we just created, and I am going to insert it into this computer. OK, good. And what's going to happen? is it will detect the USB stick was inserted. It's going to find the PPKG file, and then it's going to import that provisioning package. There we go. So now that it's read the PPKG file, it will run through the provisioning steps that we gave to it in the Windows Configuration Designer. It's going to reboot. And while this is rebooting, it would be worthwhile talking about doing this in mass. So it only takes a couple of seconds where you put the USB stick in, you unplug it, it reads the PPKG file, and then it begins the provisioning process. And so imagine, if you will, that you have a large deployment and you have 100 devices that you need to prepare for end users. So you unbox them all, you line them up in a room, you get them all powered on, you don't necessarily need a keyboard and monitor for each one. All the, the device needs is to be powered on, and it will be at the out-of-box experience prompt. But then you can take that USB stick and you go down the line. You plug in the first one, leave it in for three seconds, unplug, go to the next one, and so on. By the way, we can see here that on the left, the agent has now shown up, and so we're ready to continue our automation. You'll find that you can deploy many, many devices in just a few minutes. Now, the other nice thing here is you'll notice that it bypasses the out-of-box experience. I put the local admin account that we created. I'll go ahead and log in. And what's really nice about this is the agent is already installed and deployed, and now we can leverage automation with the agent. Rather than trying to shove it all into that provisioning stick, the USB stick, I found that it's better just to treat the initial provisioning step as very lightweight, just get the agent installed, get it on the network, and then do the rest from the RMM. All right, so let's go ahead and answer a few of these questions here. You'll notice that's way less questions than if we had to go through the full out-of-box experience. And there we go. Our device is deployed. And let's just confirm a few things here. Great, there we go. We can see company name and the service tag. And actually we can see the same thing here in the agent. 
uh, we can see it has the company name and the service tag and it hasn't quite brought in all the metrics yet but we could even start to manage it from here in the agent uh, if we need to and I, I can tell that it's starting to install drivers in the background over here it just changed the resolution but yeah now that the agent is online we can start to push further automation so we're ready to start deploying software we can join it to the domain there's a lot of things that we're going to we're going to do next in part two of this video hopefully this was helpful i will share the script and the links to the downloads that we need to make this happen and we really look forward to your feedback we hope this was informative for you and we'd like to thank you for choosing level